It was recently his daughter's birthday, and I really felt it that at that point in time, like, you won't let me help you. You won't let me be there the way that I was there when she passed away. You are shutting me out now. Um, Mr. Livingston, to what do you attribute the, the shutdown? I, I have no, um, I probably did. I more than likely did, because mm -hmm. it's, it's, for something that was the best day of my life, it's the worst. I understand. Excuse me. It's the worst. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, sir. So I don't want to, um, <clears throat> apologize, um, I don't want to bring, I don't want to bring you into that. Yeah, that's the woman you that you, you that's haven't the woman cried in so long in front of me. And you used to cry in front of me, and now you just, you, are you afraid? Because I don't want you to see that, because I don't want you to see that. I got to stand up, and, and I got to, I got to stand up. It's not just, it's not just me, it's for my sweets, it's for you, it's for my family, it's being this black man. I got to stand up, I got to get up and go, life is still here. And I want to support here. you. So I got to, I got to go, and I don't want you to see me like that. I want you to see me getting up, and, and I like the fact that you can see me from being here, no diss to anybody, but being from being here to now here. The fact that I can go and I won Teacher of the Year last year, the fact that I can continue to, to provide and protect and be this man that I'm supposed to be, to be this black man I'm supposed to be. So no, I probably will go outside to the car and cry or go in the bathroom and cry because I don't want you to see that. I don't want you to bring you into that. And that's, that might be wrong, but that's just the way I feel about it. I have felt about it. I want him to maybe go out with me sometimes and not make me feel bad if I get drunk. I, you know, he, he says bars are the worst place in the world and that, you know, when I come home, he gets mad at me if I've been drunk. I'm like, then come with me. Ms. Bauer, do you actually think this is the right man for you? I mean, I, I came into this saying, let's fix it. Let's figure out what we needed to do. It could, it could but y'all don't have enough in common. That's to be thing. boyfriend and girlfriend. Go on but a hike to get married. Me. Go on a hike with me. You know. Do you like to hike? No. Okay. About as much as she does. Yeah. Okay. What's another? <laughs> see, do you see what I'm saying? He's he's gone on one hike with me, and he, he said never again. That's not what he likes to do, Miss Bauer. Next, what else do you like? Do you like to go to the club? Karaoke. Karaoke. Even just karaoke. Do you like karaoke? No, Your Honor. Next, <laughs> what else you like? Crappy rom com movies. Okay. <laughs> Crappy rom-com? I know. I don't even know why I turned over there to look at you, okay? <laughs> he is, uh, and has always been broke. That's kind of blunt, Miss Khan. You I, mean I broke, mean, broke? Just... Well, I, I make 100000 a year, like, but nothing is good for them. That's far... pretty good. That's pretty good money now. Yeah, but to them, it's, that you have to make 300000 a 100000 Well, if, yes, but if you're making hundred k, why are you mm. calling me for gas money? Now, one time he was trying to get home from work and he ran out of gas money. He called me because he was stranded. He said, can you can deposit $20 into my account? I was working. I was far from home. My account was overdrawn. I didn't know why all these bills and everything just went through. So I, she's just very rigid and not... Mr. Villalobos, the reason that all those bills and things went through is probably because it was time for them to be paid. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it worked in real life, okay? About two months ago, his phone was ringing, and it was from an email address. And that's very weird. And it was a, a video chat call. So I answered it, and it was a woman, and she was looking at me with this shocked face, like, oh my God, like, it's, you. it's like she already knew, like, who I was. And I track his location, and I'm able to see where he is. So I had her location. I knew who this woman was. So I went to her house, and I knocked on her door. Oh. She didn't answer, but I went there. Your Honor, when this situation occurred, I was asleep. Imagine waking up and you got somebody with a ski mask on looking at you like they about to rob you. I'm serious, Your Honor. I was so scared of my wife this day. And I'm looking at her and she's basically telling me to wake up and tell her the same thing she's telling you today that basically, who is this woman? And this is all off of someone calling my phone like she just told you. And you talking about me doing a job by when we met. Now you're doing it. You didn't tell me you showed up looking like a ninja. Thank you. Well, that's crazy.
It's the woman that you called Becky earlier that we were talking about. So I was pissed. I was oh, mad. you mean the same girl the from the four-week pregnant girl? The same girl from the past. And that's how I knew where she lived. And that's how I was able to go over to her house. So, yes, I put my ski mask on. Ooh, the and fact I had that you my have a ski mask. Where y'all live? You live in Georgia. Y'all have I got it for, when, during the pandemic when it first It's started. not mine. I can tell you that because I don't own one, Your Honor. I'm kind of just tired of covering for him. Like, certain places we go to, our. You know, I would have to lie like, oh, you know, the barber, she, he did this and he did that because all of their friends is, is bragging. Like, I cover for him the next day for Valentine's Day. They, were, they wanted to see what he had, of course. I had a cabin. We was far away. He didn't have nothing to post for content. So what I got myself for the mall, I gave it to him and I said... Okay, Mr. I, Adler! <laughs> nothing to post it. for content! Exactly. He made a whole... Well, I wanted it. I did... Your Honor, he made you a whole post. post. For you ain't post your flowers, your roses, your chocolates, your cars, your houses. You ain't post for content. See, he likes to date for social media and for content. I don't date for social media content. Is that true, Mr. Adler? Yes. Everything is video. No, no, no. Everything is content. In my life. Every is, and is that the way you want to live your life? Is that what you want? That's what I want. He knows that. Okay. Mr. McKenzie, is that what you want? No, I'm, a, I'm We're a very never private. going to agree. Very, I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm a very, I'm a very private person. Okay. Ooh, he might need to find him an older man that's with that then. Oh. What's making you feel that something has changed? I want to hear from you, sir. What is it? Okay, it might have something to do with some of the little lies I've been catching her in. Okay, so that means trust. Because there's always a core of something. Yes, you say you've been catching her in lies. Tell me what it is that you caught her in. Okay, so, you know, I work at night. She gets off, like, 12.30. And I leave home to go to work, truck driver. So I got to go by her job, you know, to get to my truck. Her car wasn't there. It's 1 o'clock. I call... I call. She finally pick up the phone at 3. 3 o'clock in the morning? 3 o'clock in the morning. Asked her where she was. She told me. At a bar with some co-workers. And I admit that but I was wrong with that. You told me you was coming home afterwards. Where you you were at work. You wasn't gonna, even going to be home. I admit I was wrong. And I felt bad about that. We have Why to, did you lie? Because of this right here. The trust issues that he already has in the arguments. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not going to help with trust issues to lie. My thing is, he's going on the road. I would rather him not know that I'm going out and be in sound mind and, you know, on the road than another argument before we go on. And why would there be an argument? Because he wants me to be at home 24-7. Our son is 18. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be at home 24-7 No, anymore. you don't. I have raised my son. I have been the best wife that I can be. But I've done you... everything that I'm supposed to do, and I'm continuing to do that, but the trust issue is what's pulling us apart. I love my husband. There's no doubt. I love my husband. And therefore, I want to make him happy. So if lying to him makes him happy, then that's what I did. Uh, so the car actually ding ding and told him that it needed gas. So him being cheap and want to find a cheap gas station ended up, we ran out of gas. So he called me a lazy hoe because I didn't want to walk to the gas station with him, which was about 15 minutes down, and I had my son with me. So how were you supposed to walk to the gas station with, with my him, son? No with the stroller. Baby. Okay. Uh... Now I'm a lazy hoe. Mr. Parker, what was that about, sir? I feel like she's been lazy ever since, like, we've been younger. When we was younger, we used to walk everywhere. Like, now, um, nowadays, it's that we have a car, and now she just We have a to... kid. Mr. Parker, hold on. There was a baby that was less than six months old. Was she supposed to grab the baby out the car and walk down the shoulder of the road with you because you were too stubborn to stop and get gas before the gas ran out. Is that what your expectation was? I just want to make sure I'm clear on what your expectation was, sir. Really, it just was, I told her just to get the car seat, I mean, the stroller out the, the trunk and to walk with me, and she didn't But the stroller walk. wasn't in the trunk. But, Mr. Parker, here's the thing. I can't imagine, Robert, I'm looking at you. I can't imagine Robert ever <laughs> asking Chris, his wife, to take Sophia. Nope out the car to walk with him down the street 15 minutes to go get the gas. He'd be hustling to go get the gas to get back to his wife and child. I'd be sprinting, bro. 
In the beginning of the relationship, okay. Um, I was trying to be more of a man because of my feelings that she wanted a man. I tried to put myself in that perspective. And I feel like I lost myself in in that time. What do you time. mean, be more of a man? Like, like be more manly, about? be more masculine, be there, like be the one to take care of everything, be the one to take care of the bills, the trips, the dates, everything. Girl, let me tell you something. <laughs> my friends, who are in uh, gay relationships, mm. they don't have that role silliness. Uh-huh. Okay? It's whoever's trying to put the family together. Exactly. Who got the better job? That's the person that's supposed to be carrying as much of the financial weight as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't have to take on society's definition of what a man is. Mm -hmm. A man or a woman who is strong in a relationship is caring and loving and kind and giving and provide security. Mm -hmm. A man or a woman can do that. You be the strongest woman, man, person, they, us, we, that you can be. It took three months for me to, uh, of us being broken up, for me to get that, for me to understand that, mm -hmm. um, and me to gain myself back, because I really lost myself in trying to play a role that really wasn't fit for me.